Well, this is why I say never put a brand new carburetor on out of the box. Never. Open the box, take your carburetor, and bolt it on your freaking car, man. Luckily, I went ahead and decided to get into this damn thing. I'd have had problems right out the gate on a couple different areas. Right out the gate, I noticed the back screws on the back are not even the freaking same. They're supposed to be shoulder bolts. I guess they're too cheap to, you know, whatever. They're not even the same freaking length. Whatever. So I continued on from there, and it's like I'm thinking, well, if I want the float as high as I can get it set, you gauge them floats from the top edge of the wall here to the top of your float. So, and you push down on your float tab here. A little wire keeps your needle hanging on your float, and then that drops into the seat. So you just gently push that down until it stops, and that's your float height. Well, shit, man, I'm a half inch, three-eighths anyhow, down from the wall. I'm going to go ahead and raise that three-sixteenths, maybe a quarter even, raise that on up some more. Let that, that'll give me all the more available gas, you know, on demand in the carburetor. So I'm going to go ahead and change that. And then I got the look, and this is the kicker. The two center tubes are your draft tubes. Look at the one on the left. Look at the one on the right. They're not even the same goddamn tubes. The one on the right's frickin' bent. Look at the top of the one on the right. Let me see here. I'll focus a little bit there. That's pretty good. Look at the one on the right. Look at how bad it's bent. And then look at the top of it compared to the one on the left. They're totally two different tubes, and the one on the left is plugged. It, you can't even get nothing through it. They're draft. They're the draft tubes for the secondaries. I'll show you what those are. If I can do this without dropping this. This is the other end of that tube. You can see it right there. And then the other one's over here. You can see it right there. So what happens, why they call them draft tubes, is when you open these secondaries, there's a lot of draft coming around this as that starts to open. And that little tube there will literally draw gas up out of the bowl, and it'll vapor gas over this lip. And it's to help smooth the transition of these when they dump open. They're there for a reason. So I got one plugged on this side, and this one's bent. So, I'd have been screwed right out the gate. I'd have been having issues on this. I'm really bummed, man. There's a $400 carburetor. And the thing's just a piece of shit inside. So, but this is why I say never to put them on brand new out of the box. There's a lot of trash in there, too. I don't know if you can see it too well. There's a lot of trash down in the corner. whole thing needs blowed out. And then I noticed down in here. That's full of trash. And this piece is missing. See this little ring right here? That's the lip of a little phenolic, kind of almost like spacer that drops in there. So this is missing. I got two different draft tubes with one side plugged and the other side goddamn bent. You know, float level's off. I haven't pulled the float yet. This is just what I've found so far. So hopefully everything else goes a little better. I got a parts carburetor over here, so I'm going to rob these vent tubes out of my parts carburetor, replace them with two good ones, go ahead and raise that float up some, and I'm going to ditch all these beat-up screws. I did get this one that was hammered on, beat up, you know, beat up out, but none of the screws were tight either. That's what started this whole thing. Might as well look inside. The screws aren't tight. Man, I'm glad I did. This is why I always say, never. Put a brand new carburetor on your vehicle. Brand new 400 small block. I was getting ready to bolt this piece of shit onto you. So, whatever. I'll go through, fix it, and get everything dialed in. But just passing that on. Just because it's brand new don't mean shit, man. Everybody be safe.